Remix. To combine or edit existing materials to produce something new. The term remix originally applied to music. It rose to prominence late last century during the heyday of hip hop, the first popular music form to incorporate sampling from existing recordings. Early example the Sugar Hill Gang samples the bass riff from Sheik's Good Times in the 1979 hit Rapper's Delight. Now, what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. Since then, that same bass line has been sampled dozens of times. Skip ahead to the present and anybody can remix anything. Music, video, photos, whatever, and distribute it globally pretty much instantly. You don't need expensive tools, you don't need a distributor, you don't even need skills. Remixing is a folk art. Anybody can do it. Yet these techniques, collecting material, combining it, transforming it, are the same ones used at any level of creation. You could even say that everything is a remix. To explain, let's start in England in 1968. Jimmy Page recruits John Paul Jones, Robert Plant, and John Bonham to form Led Zeppelin. They play extremely loud blues music that will soon be known as, uh, wait. Let's start in Paris in 1961. William Burroughs coins the term heavy metal in the novel The Soft Machine, a book composed using the cut-up technique, taking existing writing and literally chopping it up and rearranging it. So in 1961, William Burroughs not only invents the term heavy metal, the brand of music Zeppelin and a few other groups of pioneer, he also produces an early remix. Back to Zeppelin. By the mid-1970s, Led Zeppelin are the biggest touring rock band in America. Yet many critics and peers label them as rip-offs. The case goes like this. The opening and closing sections of Bringin' On Home are lifted from a tune by Willie Dixon entitled, not coincidentally, Bringin' On Home. The Lemon Song lifts numerous lyrics from Helen Wolf's Killin' Floor. Black Mountainside lifts its melody from Black Waterside, a traditional arranged by Bert Jansch. Dazed and Confused features different lyrics, but is clearly an uncredited cover of the same titled song by Jake Holmes. Oddly enough, Holmes filed suit over 40 years later in 2010. Been dazed and confused for so long, it's not true. I'm dazed and confused. Hanging on by a thread. And the big one, Stairway to Heaven, pulls its opening from Spirit's Taurus. Zeppelin toured with Spirit in 1968, three years before Stairway was released. Zeppelin clearly copied a lot of other people's material. But that alone isn't unusual. Only two things distinguish Zeppelin from their peers. Firstly, when Zeppelin used someone else's material, they didn't attribute songwriting to the original artist. Most British blues groups were recording lots of covers, but unlike Zeppelin, they didn't claim to have written them. Secondly, Zeppelin didn't modify their versions enough to claim they were original. Many bands knock off acts that came before them, but they tend to emulate the general sound rather than specific lyrics or melodies. Zeppelin copied without making fundamental changes. So these two things, covers, performances of other people's material, and knockoffs, copies that stay within legal boundaries, these are long-standing examples of legal remixing. This stuff accounts for almost everything the entertainment industry produces, and that's where we're headed in part two.
wait, one last thing. In the wake of their enormous success, Led Zeppelin went from the copier to the copied. First in the 70s with groups like Aerosmith and Heart and Boston, then during the 80s heavy metal craze, and on into the era of sampling. Here's the beats from When the Levee Breaks, getting sampled and remixed. In Zeppelin's defense, they never sued anybody. Uh, hi, I'm Kirby. I made the video you just watched, Everything is a Remix. If you enjoyed the video, please head over to everythingisaremix.info and donate a little money. Anything you can muster would be greatly appreciated and will help me dedicate time to completing the remaining three episodes. It's going to be a four-part series. The site has plenty of um, complimentary information that I think you might find interesting as well. Uh, and you can also find links to like songs and videos and stuff from the video if you happen to like them. You can go there and purchase them. It's also a good way to keep up with the latest with what's going on with the series. I think that's it. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I said hip. You don't stop the rock to the bang bang boogie Say up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie the beat